Hi guys, Jim with Blues coming out to you another video review to Car Tommy MP19 Smokescreen, the Fair Lady 280Z. Um, pretty nice box art. Um, there he is right there. So, um, some more stuff. Here's the back. Shows him going into the trailer. Uh, has some new stuff right here. Kind of shows the gun and the the two uh, shoulder cannons so that's kind of cool and then there he is right there all his glory all right enough of that so now also comes with this everybody knows comes with this and it comes with the card so uh, enough said let's get on to the figure uh, you can store this you know you push this thing up and that little thing flips out right there. I'm not going to pull it out and it does store just like that. But uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to do. Um, he also comes with his nice cannon right here. It's pretty cool. So, yada yada yada. You know, another masterpiece weapon. It is kind of cool because it's blue. So it matches the blue on him. Uh, you can take these two cannon, shoulder cannons and post them right here which is kind of cool. I think that's a pretty neat feature if you ask me. So you can pop these off and we'll put them to the side for now. Uh, let's get a uh, size comparison with the old Lambor here. And as you can see Lambor's a little wider but shorter. There you go. See? So pretty cool. Pretty cool really dig it man uh, let's get a close-up of some of these uh, decals on here um, it's got got them all over the place uh, you know I don't know what any of these mean but they're pretty cool nice Autobot logo sitting right there beautiful paint job smoke tactics uh, just great awesome spoiler on the front so I have no complaints. Um, kind of trippy uh, tail lights. Uh, the orange is kind of actually kind of refreshing, if you really ask me. But that's just me. All right, let's transform this son of a gun. We, you know, we've all seen it, so it's nothing new. Um, what I really like to do first is just kind of pop these doors, pop this other door out, kind of crack that out of the way. Um, come up here. Let's get some better light going on here. Let's get refocused here. Um, kind of pull these out and pull them down out of the way. We've all seen the transformation on this guy. It's nothing new. So I'm over here. Push up on your thumbnail. Pop this thing back. Kind of pop these guys out. Get them out here. Flip his head up. Um, get these under here. You know, all know the procedure of putting these in that little slot. There's a little slot right in there, as you can see it. So these just kind of on a double hinge, just kind of slide down. And you kind of just stick them in there, get them as close as you can. Um, get his arms folded out, kind of in the proper way. And then uh, Kind of fold that down, and there's that, you know, that same old slot right there. Right there, that one. And then that's got to go right in there. So, kind of fold that down. Well, first get the shoulders up. Get these shoulders up and over, over that door. And then you can kind of just pull these down and just kind of... Uh, This one's a little stiffer than my uh, prowl, so it's a little harder to do, um, but it can be done. And then once you get that lined up right in there, you just snap that son of a gun right in there. So that pretty much takes care of that deal. So just get his arms up. 
fold these around, kind of get his fingers down. I'm kind of going a little fast with transformation. Everything's really, really stiff on this guy, so if you see me having a little trouble, you know why. Um, so just kind of pull these fingers, get them prepped. So, and then you got to kind of, it's kind of looking like that. So, uh, let's go up a little higher right here. Some refocusing. So, now what you want to do is uh, kind of split this back here, like so. And then uh, kind of pull this down and get that past there. And uh, fold that up. And then uh, what you want to do is kind of get your finger in here. And oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. First things first. I always forget to pull these down out of the way. Get those ready. For some reason, I just always forget that step. I don't know why. So, and then just grab this thing and just kind of slide your fingernail down, pull out, squeeze it down. Make sure you flap that flap up right there. Flip this down, flip this up. Flip that back spur up. Pull these out, these are really stiff on mine. So, and you got one leg done. Same thing over here, just kind of run your fingernail down this thing right here. After you flip this thing down. And just kind of pull it down push it in you want to make sure that this flap is up okay flip that up pull this out and then flip that back thing down then extend the leg down spin the whole waist joint around and you got them facing forward and then uh, you can pretty much do uh, whatever you want uh, take these and kind of uh, pop that up in there you know and then uh, I, I like to I don't like to leave the doors like that I kind of like to flip them back I like to just flip them up flip them back at an angle oh and that thing just keeps coming loose for some reason uh, snapped that thing down got it locked in there finally okay so here we go um, We got him transformed and uh, looking good man looking good so I really like this figure I really dig him um, he's got a nice head sculpt see that head sculpt in there it's pretty cool looking so uh, it's got the same articulation everything ball joint swivel you know, double elbow, fingers move, waist, you know, legs, bending at the knee, articulated feet. So it's the same thing as same thing as my prowl video, pretty much. Just this guy looks cooler. <laughs> so what you can do is you can take these shoulder cannons. Oops, everything's out of focus here. And what you want to do is you want this piece facing outward okay right there that piece right there you want that facing outward then all you want to do is just kind of take this fold it up and then slide it on in there push it back and then rest that down just like that I don't know if you saw that so let me try that again so what you want to do is fold it up slide that in pull it back and then push it down like so and then you got the famous shoulder cannons on him and they look fantastical I mean just awesome to the tenth power so uh, he is kinda of plain Jane in the waist though that's only that's only drawback um, here he is next to Prowl so, and I do like both these figures. Actually, I like them pretty much almost the same. 
Um, there's certain things about him that I like more than him, and there's certain things I like him more than I do Prowl. So, uh, either way, it is what it is. Uh, same thing, you take his weapon, and you stick it, there's that little slot right there, and you just take that peg, and you open up his fingers, and you stick it in there, and close up his hand. And he holds his weapon. He doesn't hold his weapon as good as Prowl, I'm sorry. At least mine doesn't. But that doesn't stop me from liking and really digging this figure because he's got really, really cool uh, stuff going on here. So these two guys together just look amazing. So really, really, really like them. I have no complaints about them whatsoever. Highly recommend getting them if you can. Um, I'm going to bring in a uh, little old wheel jack. And uh, he doesn't look too bad. You know, a little uh, classic generations wheel jack. So uh, we'll be getting an MP of him pretty soon, hopefully. And uh, what really scales well with these guys is uh, Springer. I think Springer looks great with these guys. So uh, can't complain about that. I mean, he looks pretty good. You know, Springer was a bigger guy. And uh, all in all, it's a great figure, man. I uh, highly recommend getting him. Go out and get him. Um, thank you, Nick Coombs. Buy from him. I got this, and uh, he sent it out. No problems. Perfect condition. Everything's great on this figure. Love it. Live it. It looks good. This is Drum of the Blues. Definitely get yourself a smoke screen.